Hi, this is Hannah from Minute. I'm going to briefly go through the Minute dashboard with you. If we come here to the home screen, we can see right away if there's anything we need to action or have our attention. So we have zero ongoing noise events at the moment. None of our devices are offline and there is a, a log of all the latest events right here. If we come over to the homes tab, you can see that I have noise monitoring enabled on both of my apartments as well as crowd detect. If I come into the East Street apartment here, I can see that my noise levels in there are totally fine and not near our 75 decibel threshold. Uh, my security alarm is off because I do not need um, the security alarm enabled at the moment. The crowd detect feature is on. Um, crowd detect addresses over occupancy, which is a problem in short term rentals. With this feature, you can monitor the number of mobile devices in the property and you'll be notified when the number goes above your threshold and you can take action to make sure guests stay within occupancy limits. Um, my sensor down here, we can see on the map where we are and I can go in here to change the settings. So I can change the settings on this individual device or I can set the bulk editing feature here where I can also edit all my devices at the same time. So if I want to be notified about noise, I can change it here to only when the noise monitoring is on or always. And I'm going to save that. My thresholds then can be set using this guidelines for decibels. So you don't need to know anything about decibels. Um, the uh, guidelines here will tell you exactly what you need to do. So for um, a party, you're talking about 70 to 90 decibels. So during the daytime, I can set my decibel limit here to be about 75 or even 80 decibels. It really depends um, on what you uh, what your preferences are, but usually daytime noise is not as big an issue as in the evening time. So I'm gonna save that. Um, it would be a loud party during uh, the daytime, but I don't wanna get any false alerts. So I'm going to save that one. The noise duration then, it's a really important one because um, we don't want to get any false complaints about door slamming or any type of noise that's not something that we want to respond to. So if we set the noise duration for something between 5 and 15 minutes, there's a pretty good chance then that it is a party um, or something that would disturb the neighbours and not something we, we don't need to worry about. So I'll save that for 10 minutes. Uh, nighttime noise monitoring then, um, it's definitely a cool feature. You can make sure that during the nighttime, we have uh, a lower threshold. So if I set uh, the daytime setting for higher, then I'll set the nighttime for, for lower. So here we go at 70 um, and I can save that. And also I can choose my times. So if I want to um, have it between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. That's my quiet hours. That's in my house rules. So I'll save it that way. I can also change any other types of settings in this way and do it as a bulk edit for all of my devices. Um, and these notifications can come through the mobile app um, if you've got push notifications um, set up. And they can come through email as well. They can also come through a guest connect feature. So you can send SMS straight to your guest if you wish. Um, you can also add in team members in and responders in the app to receive the notifications. If you have a team or your partner or whatever the setup is, you can make sure the right person gets the right notifications. I think that that is um, a pretty good overview of um, our dashboard. Um, make sure to check out what integrations we have at the moment and see you next time.